Hey everybody, welcome back to Dishonored 2. Uh, I done goofed! You guys pointed out that I missed the very clear entrance when looking back at it, uh, into the storage room. And it's actually right here. Um, and when I looked through the window of the door, I should have been able to see this window, and people pointed out, like, the timestamps to me. And I watched it back, and I was like, yeah, that's pretty obvious, so... Um, oops, I missed it. We've got Adermeyer solution in here, some copper wire. What else do we have going on? Reflection on my journey to the Pandisian continent. Incendiary bolts. Got the door fixed. Seems like that was intentionally jammed. Eh, we could say maybe something fell. Maybe. Uh, reflection of my journey to the Pandisian continent by Anton Sokolov. Uh, at dawn, I set out with the group that forged east and included two other natural philosophers and four crewmen. We used blades to clear the vegetation that grew thickly here and slowly made our way from the shore up a steep incline. Our purpose was to gather samples of the native plants for our research journals. I found myself pressing leaves and stems between pages and taking copious notes on several species of flora I surmised no human had ever set eyes on previously. When suddenly, young Mr. Grave from the academy began hopping about and screaming wildly. Chance had bade him pick an unfortunate place to step. Aggressively, ant-like creatures swarmed him from below. So many in number were his tiny attackers that we quickly lost sight of him under their, their onslaught. We finally managed to pull Gravette from the insects, acquiring several painful welts where we had come to his... Uh, where we had come to his aid. Mr. Gravette, however, was bitten or stung, as I would eventually discover. So many times he was barely recognizable. Swollen into deformity, over every inch of his person, moaning like a sick bull. He expired before we could carry him back to the beach. Luckily, some of the creatures still clung to him, providing me with precious samples. So he's all about these these flies that he's, these blood flies uh, that he's investigating. And I guess that's how he got his batch that we saw in that room. Uh, but yeah, thank you guys for pointing that out. I'm not going to be able to catch everything, and there will definitely be things I miss. Uh, I'll admit that one was fairly obvious, but um, yeah. Sorry if it frustrated you. What do we got here? New travel log entry? Let's talk to her and we'll check that after. Ready for me to drop you at the docks? I am ready. Let's go. Let's go see the streets where my father grew up. Off we go then. It won't do to be recognized. I mean, even if our eyes are exposed, you would imagine that somebody of our kind of popularity would most likely be recognized, no? I'd take you to Adamir by boat, but security's too tight. The Grand Guard have a watchtower there. Go inland and use the carriage station. Before his death, the old Duke of Sircono spent decades building up Karnaka. After Duke Luca Bell took over, he started draining the wealth out of the city as fast as he could. He seems like a good Orgies guy. and week-long feasts. Having more fun here than we were in Dunwall, it seems. Watch yourself on the way to Ademire. The Duke's given the Grand Guard run of the city. Strangers get attacked on sight. I'll keep my head now. This is a good spot. Reach Adamire, take out the Crown Killer, and find out where Sokolov was taken. The alchemist, Hypatia. She'll help if she can. Sokolov likes her. I'll see you later at Adamire. Just wait to bring up the boat until after I've disabled the watchtower. Okay. Neutral territory. Jewel of the South. So, your actions affect the world around you. Taking lives will cause Emily or Corvo and their allies to grow more cynical. Too many deaths will lead to higher levels of blood fly infestation and a darker final outcome for the story. So similar to how, like, the rats worked. We can look for the black market shop, which would be helpful, and then we need to get to Adermeyer Station. Adermeyer Station is that way. Stranger. No need to cover your face. There's not much dust from the mines down here at the docks. Oh, yeah. No, that's... Which ship is that out there? Totally why. Another skipper? Totally why we're covering our face. No, it's not on the registry. 
Maybe one of the uh, recent importers from more. Uh, let's give it a day or two. If she's still there, I can, I can ask a friend who's with the Grand Guard to take a squad on board and conduct a search. Give we know about the Grand Whale. Load up whatever contraband they're no doubt waiting on. Cool. Okay. A piece of the confiscation. Yes. Yeah. Dockyard quarter? What do we have here? It's like a map of the area. Pass it along. Take it. Then we all be time to spring for fish cake. Oh, imagine the smell. Won't like it. Hello there. I told you it's wrong kind of oil. But they don't want to listen. Next time. Oh, you know what we should do? We should actually check. Oh. We got one right here. Hello. Hey, supposed to go to do. There's a bunch of them. 117 meters, 126, 135, 162. And bone charms too. 121. This one seems closest. Okay, black market shops right over here. Look at the whale, that's so cool. Fellow Sir Conan, in the Duke's absence, I have the following announcement. New restrictions are now in place due to the political assassinations. Can I cover your face? Are you worried someone might see my face? Yeah, maybe. Got something nearby? Oh, like right above here. Hard times under the Duke and his grand guard. A man has to be ready for anything. I would agree with that. Are we gonna let a few blood flies stop us? I'm in. Just remember to move slowly and don't get too close to the nests. We don't even know if the people inside had any money. We just know they're dead and the place is infested with blood flies. Calm. Condemned due to infestation. Going puts us on the other side of the wall of light. If you want out of the city as bad as I do, this is our chance. Come here. You want to open the door for me then? Huh. Okay, let's see if we can't figure out a way through there then. Each other. We'll find another way to make the coin. And another way to get past the wall of light. Oh, we know what the wall of light is. Hey, let's lock this one in here. Here we go. Oh. Is this the same? Yeah, this is it. I have something that might interest you. You do, hey? What's that? Mindy Blanchard? My name's Mindy Blanchard, and you look like someone who goes into places where you don't belong. Wanna help me with something? That depends. You scratch my ass, I'll scratch yours. <laughs> I need to get to Adermeyer Institute. It's a good pickup line. Can you line. help me with that? Yeah. I know how to do that. You go get a body for me, and I'll help you with your problem. A body? Don't worry. He's already dead. A body? That's odd. From where? The overseers are holding him at their outpost. They think he was a kind of a witch. I want the body for reasons of my own. Sneak in and take it. Then meet me Sketchy. in the old basement below the dentist office near there. I'll think about it. I'm totally in. There's no way we're not doing it. Okay. Enter the overseer's outpost. Okay, so that's... Well, relatively close. News isn't good, they say. They should do like me and never read it. Oh, there's a rune. Looks like it's inside the uh, the shop. And I suppose we would need a key. Your face is no concern of mine. Well, it's a concern for me. 
The money you collect can be spent at black market shops to buy and upgrade gear. Find blueprints as you explore and use them at black market shops to upgrade new or to unlock new upgrades to buy, including masterwork upgrades. So here's the rune, which I can't get, but I might be able to buy. So here's gear. We can buy crossbow bolts, pistol bullets, oh, sleep darts, yes. Cost 30, we have 597. I'll take it. You won't regret it. Here's the rune, which we can buy. It's 400. But they're nice to have. I think we will buy it. Glad we could do business. Location of sunken supplies. A pair of sailors pass along the location of a boat that sunk in the bay containing some supplies. So a little bit of our price range. Everything is at this point. But what other kind of Let's upgrades see. do we have? I have some upgrade plans for your gear. So we can upgrade crossbow accuracy, bolt range, and reload speed. These are already checked off. Like, oh, there's potential upgrades for these, maybe. Hmm. Here's pistol upgrades, gear, and outfits. Unlock two additional bone charm slots. All sorts of stuff. Extra capacity. Folding blade gives you an advantage in locked sword contests. Grenades. And mines. Spring razors. Stun mines and spring razors. Okay. This is not going to be the last time I see you. If I'm still here. So, can we... Oh yeah, we can go straight to sleep darts from here. Nice. We've got a bone charm pretty close by, actually. So this is a breakable door. Oh, it's a nice place. We'll see if we don't get in there another way. Whoops. I think I just drank something. Alright, so now we know the location of the shop. That's good. Oh, the bone charm's in the uh, infestation. It's infested, alright. Move slowly, stay away from the nests, and try to avoid getting filled with blood fly venom and egg. Whoa, okay, we just picked up something from his body. Um, Lento, you're either brave or desperate to accept this job. We used to... We used to smoke flash blood flies with full crews, but the infestations are bad now and the Duke cancelled the funding. So we get rid of the nests by hand. Here's what you need to know to stay alive. If you need to slip past a blood fly swarm or nest, keep your distance and move slowly or they'll attack. When the blood flies are calm, you're fine. If they take flight and start glowing, it's trouble. If you get swarmed, you gotta run away or fight. Smash the blood flies or burn them. Same for the nests. A blood fly swarm will keep coming back until you destroy the nest for that swarm. It's really all you need to know. You'll do fine. Oh yeah, another thing. If you find any blood amber in a nest, just keep it as a bonus. But make sure the Grand Guard doesn't see it, or they'll ask you for some urban sanitation tax or whatever. Good luck. Okay. I'm going to regret this. I don't know, like, how slow we need to move. I'm not... Apparently really slow. Just be cool, don't make eye contact. I don't know like how quickly they would kill us either, or if we'd be able to get away. Look at that, that's cool. 
Whoa! The shadows. This is a bit... Yeah, it's a bit greedy. Okay, okay, okay. There must be some ways eventually to, like, walk more quietly. Now, has this destroyed this nest? It looks like it. Ooh. High-proof liquor flammable. Oh, man. Wait, can we not get, uh, can we not use our thing to grab stuff? Or is that, is that like a separate? Because we've got it here. Strategic tips. But I'm thinking... Pull objects towards you, either catching them or stepping aside and letting them fly past. Okay, pull yourself... But this is not... Hmm. So, I think we need to figure out a way to actually equip that. I'm gonna get in there. Patience. Whoa. Oh, we did it! It wasn't pretty. Oh, there! Okay, so I grabbed something, so it is one and the same. It's just hard to tell, like... It's hard to tell if I'm grabbing or if I'm launching. Like this. Oh, okay. So that works pretty well, I guess. Let's go to the Overseer Outpost and see about this body, perhaps. Whoa. Hostile territory. The Wall of Light's a dangerous security system from the age of the Rat Plague. Those not attuned are burned to ashes upon passing through. Wall of Light is powered by a windmill, but others are fueled by removable oil tanks. Okay. You can bypass the Wall of Light in a variety of ways. Shut down the windmill. Explore nearby apartments. Uh, brave the blood fly infested building back toward the dockyard. Possess a rat and find a small passage. Or climb through the window above the Wall of Light. So this is still kind of like teaching us it might pay to ways of dealing with it. I warned you. Please, you gave me no choice. Please. Oh yeah. It's too late for that, Rapallo. Guess what happens next? This is how we get rid of snitches. If anyone asks, he just oh. ran through it. Yeah. Could you stop him? So is this guy hostile that we just saw? Or is it only once we get past the wall? Hey, is the windmill turning all right up there? No problems? Don't worry, it's turning. Plenty of electricity. Good. I like this setup better than using the well oil tanks. Ah, uh, here we go. Run dry. Unless something happens to the windmill, these break down just as often in a different way. And they also overcharge sometimes. So I can the see the window up, up top. Strong? Like in a storm? Right. 
that happens, trust me. Don't stand too close to the wall of light. Yeah, that'd be terrible. Yoink. I have the following announcement. This year's blood flight concern is the ah. most severe in recent memory. If you encounter a nest nice. or an infected corpse, do not disturb it. Any attempts to practice the funeral rites of the Abbey of the Everyman will be punished severely. Contact There's the, the outpost. Conan guard at once. The guardsmen on site will handle the situation and determine whether any fines are appropriate. Now, this must be neutral, then? Maybe not. Oh, no, definitely More not. Grand Guard soldiers. Best to avoid. Definitely not. Is restricted to those carrying the I think definitely. Uh oh. Wait, 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 and work. Any attempts to like hinder that. the have better have a look. enforcement duties will be met that was close. with exercise of force. Mm -hmm. Coming from here. Let's see. Oh, 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 they got the blood flies. That's awesome. Yeah, I think staying high ground is by far the best approach to getting past anything, really. Bloodfly husk? Oh, yay. Doctor's notes. Let the record show that I did try. When Adermeyer closed, I tried my best to take on all their bloodfly cases. Void helped me. I even took out an advertisement in the Karnaka Gazette. And come they did. Sometimes with cases so advanced, the larvae ready to burst through their skin. I had to turn myself away lest they contaminate all the other patients and myself. The whole dreadful business has become a danger to me. If I don't protect my own health, how can I cure others? My things are already packed. I have purchased passage to Windown. What a relief it will be to treat scurvy and chillblains after all these hideous blood fly infectations. Or inf <laughs> infectations. Infections. And we've seen what the blood flies can accomplish, so not to be taken lightly. They almost killed us. What are the odds that this door is open? Oh, they're like right here. Most fiercely to your families, to your neighbors, and to the Abbey of the Everyman. Nope. Princes and queens rise and fall, but a succession of overseers will watch you for the entirety of your lifetime. Shielding you from the outer and horrors of sleep. the void and from the spoiled touch of the outsider himself. Hold closest to the seven strictures. Oh, this is the guy right below us. And that the Duke of Circanus is in her thrall, as is whispered in parlors and alehouses across the Empire. Do not doubt. Is it true that the witch now sits in thrall? And we will act. Unfortunately, yes. Fires will lift the mind and Dunwall Tower. And at the end of it all, the Abbey will stand in the ashes. Yet it caught my eye. Come on, find a way in. Oh, we do have a way in. Looks like, anyway. Whoa. Maybe not. Might not be plain to you. Karnaka has turned away from the Abbey of the Everyman. There's like so much verticality. Oh, here we go. With your very families. If the Abbey is destroyed, anarchy will be bold. Let's get a good view of it here. Sometimes I wonder if it wouldn't be better to craft the music of the John Cliff. Here in the city, for instance. Instead, they're made in a few locations kept from us and shipped out. 
That seems to most often shared. Far worse to have the knowledge of construction materials scattered across the aisles. The metals used to make the devices are unusually rare. The techniques, if applied by anyone but the most faithful, resolute overseers, would border on heresy. I suppose you're correct. It grieves me to imagine what cultists might accomplish if they took the music boxes and perverted them to their own ends. Exactly, brother. Much better to protect such a powerful tool. Most high Assemble them in the secret and dispatch them oh. across the Empire where they're needed in the fight against the supernatural. His name may not be spoken. Careful. Now, are those two guys from over there going to enter, though? That's the question. <sighs> Can we knock this guy out while he's sitting here? Maybe with the dart. Huh. Wait, what? Oh, good. Who wander are untethered. Uh, problem is, I don't think I have a great spot for him. This will have to do. Oh, we've got a combination safe here. When I shot him, I was like, uh, how did that not work? Okay, this is gonna be intense. I think we'll try and dispatch with all of them if we can. That's probably safest, so we don't have to really worry about if somebody's gonna walk up behind us. Gotta look for a three-digit code for this safe. There's some books here, the seven strictures. Surround your innermost being with these strictures and you'll be safe. The seven strictures are our core principles, taught and reinforced by overseers across the aisles. From these principles stem all manner of rules, social codes, and beliefs about the cosmos. Wandering gaze, lying tongue, restless hands, roving feet, rampant hunger, wanton flesh, errant mind. All these behaviors must be restricted in order to keep one's heart free from malevolent influences. They are the inroads of the outsider. Classic. Classic. Okay, here we go. 